Welcome back to Gulch Hay Farm. Sorry for the wind. It's a windy day out here. Wife's coming in hot behind me. There it is. There's the way we were looking for. The wife and I went yesterday on the whim and uh, bought it. I'm just kidding. We just rented the skids here. We picked it up yesterday and we're going to start doing some more work. We got at the house, my parents' house, where we're staying right now, about an inch and a half of rain. And out here, it doesn't look like we got maybe a few tents. I mean, it's just damp, but not not hard or anything like that. This uh, video is going to be mainly about uh, kind of prepping the dirt. Uh, a couple videos ago you saw the pole barn going in, the poles in. Uh, we were working on trusses this morning in another video. It's Subway, eat fresh. It's cold, I should have brought you to the But anyway, uh, we're going to start cutting roads today. Um, we have the skids here for a week, so we're going to make the best of it. And um, yeah. We're going to cut roads and clean around the barn and probably around the shop and um, see what we can do. And we're going to use it as well to uh, put dirt, uh, put the actual gravel in. We're going to have gravel hauled in and I'll spread it with that. But uh, anyway, fun stuff. What do you think, buddy? Should we let Daddy get one of those? I know you'd want it. Okay, poor guy. Well, we've made quite a wage. Anywho, this is how far we've gotten. This ground's still hard as a rock, but uh, it's it's going. It's a little damp yet, so. Anyway, I'm gonna come back through once I get the rough cut and try to smooth this out as much as I can and get it good and graded, and then we'll use that yellow apparatus uh, when we when we're ready to. This sucker nice and smooth. Pretty slick stuff. Here's where the house is going to sit. So anyway, yeah, we'll pull in right here. Uh, and we're going to have like a, some of that I-beam I bought, we're going to make a nice looking carport. So uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to cut, I don't know how far I'm going to go. Hey, how far do I need to go today? We just need to go past the barn, like 10 or 20 feet. Where that flag is. Okay. And then we're going to cut open all this. 
Yeah, we're up to the... Stand, stand, on, stand behind it. Yeah. To the other flag on the right. Well, let's get after it. stakes right here where our house is gonna sit and I drug all the way up there to where the shop is Whoa. wind got me and uh, back there's where our pole barn is I haven't gone back there yet and then all the way to the road it gives you a pretty good idea of what's going on here looks good from up here so anyway I got the uh, bobcat or the skid steer leader loaded back up um, and I'm gonna chain it down and uh, we're gonna get out of here and then you'll probably see us again coming out here another day this week to finish up dirt work and I'll probably be ordering gravel in and we'll be spreading everything in the road at least a temporary road temporary material base material probably for two hours but anyway we'll see you on the next one good morning back out here again running the old skid steer I didn't record it but I got all of this scraped off and pretty level. I mean, it ain't the best, but uh, it'll do for what we need it to. I got uh, 10 loads of gravel coming in the morning. So I'm trying to get everything scraped off today and get it kind of smoothed out and get all the roads cut. As you saw a couple days ago, we cut all the roads coming in on this place. So we're back here in the back of the property. I'm gonna go out about, I don't know, 50 feet that way and scrape all this grass off and uh, call it good. <laughs> sun just come up we are getting our delivery of gravel today yesterday I finished scraping all of uh, the roads and whatnot uh, the roads and the pad and all that for the barn and uh, actually both barns and uh, so now we're getting about 10 loads of base number two gravel delivered for the for the, the first layer of road that we're putting in um, the trucks were supposed to be there at 8 and they were early birds and got there at 7.30, which I'm not complaining about. But now I'm racing over there to meet them and I told them just to go find a place to dump it where I already carved in the furthest part back there. So we made it out here. Trucks already left, so they were able to get in and out pretty easily. Looks like they dumped it in the correct spot, so that's nice. But I kind of want to come here and show you the progress of the old shop here, alright? 
So a lot's happened. Uh, they hung all the iron, um, got it all welded up and the windows mounted probably in about two days. And then uh, yesterday it was real windy so they were fighting the tin and the insulation but uh, they got this whole wall up and half of that wall. Um, feels a little breezy out here again but uh, not as bad as it was yesterday. It was whipping pretty hard yesterday. But anyway, so the, these guys are doing a great job. I'm really pleased with the work they're doing. Uh, it's Peterson Construction here out of uh, Shirts. They're doing a good job, so I'm happy about that. Enough about that. We're gonna go see uh, what kind of damage we can do on the skid steer. My dad's coming as well. He's got my other truck, and he's picking up the tractor, and we're gonna hook that, uh, that uh, blade up so we can have a nice smoothing apparatus, if you will. So, uh, anyway, let's go play in the dirt. So we're back over here at the pole barn. This is what I was scraping yesterday. And uh, those guys did a good job. They were able to even put the load inside here, so that's good. So I'll start spreading from this corner and go that way, and then they'll probably drop another one out there somewhere. But, uh, heck yeah, well, I better get after it. Okie dokie, Smokies. Well, uh... Got the first two loads kind of spread out roughly and look just in time. Here they are. This is what it looks like. It's just a rough grade. I gotta come back and clean it all up. But uh, anywho, this is what we're looking at. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's good. You can spin around if you have to. Okay. How long is this trailer? Uh, probably like 38, I think. Yeah. How long was that run? How long did it take y'all? 40? That's not bad. Well, two more loads dumped. And uh, we got a boogie because it happens quick so anyway fun stuff got a lot of loads to go this is four loads i'm getting 10 total and they're making about a 30 minute turnaround so uh yeah kind of uh kind of have to boogie on out so here we go chilly and windy out here 
All right, we're on our sixth load of material. I uh, have a little bit more material in one spot than I want to, so I'm gonna give this old uh, doohick and a jigger. Oh. Should work pretty good, I think, but we'll see. I decided to get out of the skids here for a bit. Dad got back. He was bailing hay for us. He brought the tractor and mower back. But anyway, uh, I have him dragging the uh, with the with the uh, bob box blade thingamajigger that we got. And uh, son of a gun works good. Talk about a smooth finish. It works real good. I've been very pleased with how well it works. Come on. So this is eight loads total that we have here. Uh, let me figure out a way to pack this down good though. But like I said, uh, eight loads total. We got two more coming. Pretty much done. But I'm gonna get an extra load for back there. Spread out out there. And then uh, there's gonna be a load for, for around the shop. Yeah, so. Should should uh, should have enough dirt for a while. This is uh, what they call number two, where it's like an inch and a half to two and a half inch rock uh, limestone base. Uh, pretty awesome stuff. Uh, it packs really hard, uh, so we'll get a little bit of rain on it, and it should be uh, good to go. Adios, muchachos. So we are still at it. The road's pretty much done. We got our two last loads dumped. Uh, Dad ran and got a new battery for the dump trailer, so it's functioning. He'll be uh, the dumper man. He's got a hook to the truck right now. So we're going to start moving all these dirt piles to the back. There's some washouts on the back where the water sometimes flows uh, that I'm going to fill in a little bit. And that should, that should have plenty of room for that. So. We'll see what we can do. All right, second load is loaded. We dumped one previously, but I forgot the camera, and we were really pleased at how well this worked, so come on. That's good. So we go over here and pop the pan and hit the gate. We grab the remote. And we hit up. Go ahead. Nicely done, boys. Yeah, look at that. Oh! Pull forward some more. We got a lot of spreading to do, but we're just gonna raise the spill a little bit, spill the spillway a little bit, and kind of smooth this out. It's a good place for it, all though. All right, guys, new day. We had to rush out of here yesterday. I had to go take family photos, uh, but we did end up getting all the gravel done. Uh, there's actually still two hill, two dirt pads to uh, spread out, but uh, all in all, pretty pleased. We moved. Uh, just for reference, it was 800 feet of road and, I don't know, 30 to 6,000 square feet of pad, plus whatever that is over there. And I hauled in 265 tons of dirt, of base. This is number two base, one and a half to two and a half inch rock with dust in it. Um, so it packs down real nice. Um, here's a close-up of it. But uh, still got some fine grading to do, and that's what this weekend is going to be about mostly. Uh, 
We appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed us the process of putting in the road. And we'll talk to you soon. Sneak peek. We're hanging trusses. See ya. Gold Shade Farms loves you. Bye.